Hello children, uh, today we are going to read this poem that is our visit to the Jew. Over here you can see a question. Do you remember your first trip to the Jew? So this question is asking us whether we have the memory of the first time that we went to a Jew. Now the answer of this question will vary according to student. Some of you might say that I remember, some might say I don't remember, some of you might say I have never been to a Jew. So the answer is going to vary. Now next it says that read this poem about seeing wonderful new animals at the zoo. So we are supposed to read this poem and this poem is going to be about what? Then it's uh, going to be about seeing wonderful new animals at the zoo. So in the zoo you get to see new animals and this poem is going to be about that. And you can see the word wonderful, the, word, the meaning of the word wonderful is something very good, pleasant, enjoyable. So this poem is uh, going to be about seeing wonderful new animals at the zoo. So now let's begin reading the poem. When we went to the Jew, we saw a new, an elk and a whelk and a wild emu. So over here it's being said that uh, when we went to the Jew, so when the poet went to the Jew along with some people, what did uh, she see over there? What did they see over there? They saw a nu. You can see over there the picture of nu is provided in the, on the right hand side you can see the third picture is that of a nu. Uh, so first what you are supposed to do is I want you to write the names so it will be easier for you to associate the names with the animals that way. So in the book you can see many pictures are provided. So on the left hand side the first picture uh, is that of an emu. So below the picture that's beneath the picture you write emu over there. Uh, in the next picture is that of a hare. The third picture is that of an elk. The fourth picture is that of a lion. And the fifth one is that of a baboon. So what you are supposed to do is first you write these names under those pictures so that it's easier for you to understand. If I refer to Emu, then you are able to understand what I'm talking about. If I talk about baboon, then it's easier for you to understand that uh, which animal is baboon in the picture. So in the right hand side, also there are some pictures. So on the right hand side, the first picture is that of a giraffe. The second picture is that of a seal. The third picture is that of a nu. Fourth picture is that of a bear. The fifth picture is that of a snake and the last one is that of a coon. So what, what are you supposed to do? You are supposed to write these names uh, beneath the pictures so that it's easier for you to associate the names with the pictures of the animals. So over here we are being told that when the poet uh, went to the zoo, that is when the poet along with some people, that's they went to the zoo, what did they see over there? They saw a nu. So I just told you the picture of nu is provided over here on the right hand side. The third picture is that of a no. So we saw a uh, no an elk and a well. The picture of elk is also provided over here. In the left hand side you can see the third picture is that of an elk. And uh, the picture of a well is not provided. And a wild emu. They also saw, saw a wild emu. The picture of emu is also provided over there in the left hand side. The first picture is that of an emu. So we are being told that when the poet went to the zoo along with some people, they saw a new, you can see the meaning of a new, that is wild beast, an elk, the meaning of uh, elk is also provided, a large deer that lives in northern Europe and Asia, uh, the meaning of the word elk, uh, after elk, a whelk is also provided, that is uh, a small selfish, and the meaning of the word M is also provided, that's a large Australian bird that can run fast but cannot fly. So you need to remember this were, these are the names of the animals that the uh, poet talks about in this poem in the first stanza. So what are the animals, uh, what are the names of the animals that the poet along with the people uh, with whom she had, uh, she went to the zoo, they saw. Then over here we come to know that they saw a nu, an elk, whelk and wild emu. So these are the names of the animals that they saw and about whom uh, it has been mentioned in the first stanza. In the second stanza, it said that we saw a hare and a bear in his lair and a seal have a meal on a high back chair. So next we are told that they saw over there what? They saw a hare. The picture of hare is provided on the left hand side. The second picture is that of a hare. So we saw a hare and a bear in his lair. Next they also saw a bear. The picture of bear is also provided on the right hand side. You can see below elk you can see uh, sorry below nu you can see bear. So on the right hand side below nu you can see bear. That's the fourth picture on the right hand side. You can see a bear over there. So they also saw what? They saw a hare. They also saw a bear in his lair. So where was the bear? You need to remember uh, the bear was in his lair. What is the lair? You need to remember it's a place where wild animals sleep. 
So, and a seal have a meal. Next, what did they see? They saw a seal. The picture of seal is provided at this below giraffe. On the right hand side, you can see below giraffe. You can see a seal over there. So, they also saw a seal. And that seal, what did it do? It had, a, uh, what did it do? And it said that, and a seal have a meal. So, over there, they saw the seal have its meal on a high back chair. So, uh, what is a high back chair? Then a chair with a high back. So, if I try to draw over here, let me try to draw a chair. So, so let's take this is the back of the chair. So you can see this is a high back chair. So this is high back chair. So a chair with a high back is called a high back chair. So over here we are told that uh, they saw seal have its meal. Meal is the food. So next, uh, it said over here that we saw a snake. So in the third stanza, it said that uh, they also saw a snake over there. That was hardly awake. So over here in the picture also, you can see on in the right hand side, you can see below this beer, you can see a snake over there. So you can see in the picture also, this snake is asleep. So in the poem also, it's mentioned that this snake was hardly awake. So it was sleeping. And a lion eat meat uh, they had forgotten to bake. And they also saw over there that a lion was, in the picture you can see on the left hand side, below elk you can see a lion. And they also saw a lion over there. And this lion was eating what? Uh, this lion was eating meat and uh, this meat uh, was uh, raw. Because it said over there they had forgotten to bake. You can see the meaning of the word bake over there to cook food in an oven. So this uh, meat that the lion was eating, it was raw, it was not cooked, it was uncooked. We saw a coon and a baby baboon. The giraffe made us laugh all afternoon. So next it said that they also saw a coon. You can see in the picture on the, on the right hand side, you can see the last picture is that of a coon. The meaning of the word coon is also provided also raccoon or small North American animal with grayish brown fur. So you can see over there the picture of a coon and a baby baboon. The picture of a baby baboon is also there. It's provided over there in the left hand side. The last picture is that of a baby baboon. The giraffe made us laugh all afternoon. So here we are also told that the animal which made them laugh all afternoon was giraffe. So the giraffe made them laugh all afternoon. We saw a crab in a long tail dab. Next, it's being said that they also saw a crab. The picture of crab is not provided over here and the picture of dab is also not provided over here. So it said that they saw a crab. The meaning of the word crab is provided. You can see over there a sea creature with a hard shell. So what is a dab? A dab is a sea creature, uh, sorry, a crab is a sea creature with a hard shell. And we are also told what a dab is. You can see the meaning. Dab is a small flat fish. So what did they see over there? They saw a crab that is a, a sea creature with a hard cell. And they also saw a long tail dab which is a small flat fish. And we all went home in a taxi cab. So after visiting the zoo, what did they do? They returned home in a taxi cab. So here we have completed reading this poem. And we saw what are the various animals that they, that is the poet along with the, those people with whom she had, uh, she went to the zoo. Uh, they saw over there in the zoo. So these are the animals that they saw at the zoo. The first animal was no, the second was elk, a third well. And uh, similarly, we saw many, uh, they saw many animals. Uh, let me uh, name them. So no, elk, well, emu, hare, bear, seal, snake, lion, coon, baboon, giraffe, crab, dab. So these are the names of the animals that they saw where then they saw all these animals at the zoo. So now here some information is provided about the poet. Let me read it. J.C. Pope 1868 to 1941. So here uh, the year of her birth and the year of her death is provided was a poet and writer born in Leicester, England. So she was a poet and a writer who was born in Leicester, England. She is uh, known for the patriotic poetry that she wrote during the First World War. So we are being told that this uh, uh, woman, that is J.C. Pope, she was famous for what? And she was uh, she is famous for what? And she is famous for the patriotic poetry. That is the poetry where she shows her love for her country. So she is famous for the poetry, uh, patriotic poetry that she wrote during the First World War. Her verse was collected in the volumes Jesse Pope's war poems, uh, more war poems, and simple rhymes for stirring times. So here you can see that her verse means her writings were was collected in the 
volumes that is in the books. Uh, the names of the books are J.C. Pope's War Poems, published in 1915, More War Poems, published in 1915, and Simple Rhymes for Stirring Times, published in 1916. So here we have completed reading this uh, poem, Our Visit to the Jew. After reading this poem, I hope uh, you, are, um, you have remembered your first trip to the zoo, if you have been to the zoo, and you have recollected the names of, the, you have remembered the names of those animals that you yourself saw when you visited a zoo. So we are going to stop here, children, but I would like you to do one thing, that is, I want you to copy the word meanings provided in this poem in your English notebook and try to learn them. That is, memorize the word meanings. Thank you.